All right, family, let's get the video started. I have had these braids in for a very, very long time. <laughs> about a month and a half and let me just say i really really enjoyed it it was low maintenance i can just get up and go and i can style it in so many different ways i had a lot of fun with these braids but now it's time to go but as you can see here i have a lot of new growth i did use my aloe vera oil on a daily basis on my scalp while i had these braids in and i did wash it um one time wash the whole braids one time just to give it a refresh and to make it smell better because sometimes it does smell bad so <laughs> it does smell bad after a while and i have been working out so i was doing a lot of sweating so yeah i did wash it but like i said i always always went back and oiled my scalp using the aloe vera oil anyway uh, let's get into taking the braids down as i said this is going to be a full wash day routine from start till finish and i am going to be using my aloe vera treatment just to give my hair um, back the life that it needs i need it really really bad so we're going to be going through the whole thing we're going to be taking these braids out we're going to do the aloe vera treatment we're going to wash the hair we're going to come back and dry it with the rev air machine and then we're going to go ahead and get into our protective style so let's get into it all right, family, so the first thing you're going to need here is this little gadget. It's um, it's just used to take braids out. You don't really need it, and I'll show you a different option. The next thing you're going to need are scissors. You really, really need a pair of scissors and a sharp pair of scissors at that. The next thing you're gonna need is this um, rat tail comb. So if you don't have the thing I showed before, you can use the comb. Then you're gonna use or need a wide tooth comb. That's very important. You guys know that I never go without my wide tooth comb. And then you're just gonna need a few clips to just maintain the hair and control it so that you know it's not getting everywhere when you're trying to take it out. All right, family, let's get into taking the hair out. All right, so I am just splitting it into two big sections here, just again to make the process a little easier for me. And then I'm gonna get started with the one section and that's how I'm gonna cut it. I'm being really careful not to cut too close to my hair because I have done it before where I cut a lot of my hair off. You never ever wanna do that. So cut as far away as you can. And even with this, I was kinda scared. I was really scared that I may have cut some of my hair, but that's just me being Delulu. <laughs> Anyway, so just taking the braids out here. The braids are not small. It looks um, like a lot of braids, but not really. It only looks that way because the hair that was added to it, the curly part, so it makes it look fuller than it actually is. But the braid themselves are pretty big and um, they're pretty easy to take out. And so you'll see that I am speeding up through the process here. And what I'm trying to do here is as I take the braids out, I do use the white tooth comb to detangle. And then I go ahead and twist it back up. Because if you know anything about natural hair, it's almost allergic to air. Every time a lot of air touches natural hair, <laughs> it just curls up and gets tangled for no reason. So I detangle. I uh, twist it back up and I move on to the next section so that when I am done, it's not hard to um, do the things I need to do, as you can see here. Anyway, so all the braids are out. I'm going to go ahead and take all of the twist out and um, again, try to detangle it one more time before I move on to the next pro uh, process. And my hair did grow a lot. It grew a lot. You're not going to be able to see it here right now. But once I start to put the aloe vera in, you'll see how much more it grew from when I cut it a few months ago. And yeah, I'm really, really happy with the new growth. And it's such a relief to finally get those braids out. Anyway, this is my fresh aloe vera leaf. We are going to be getting it ready to do our treatment. So all I'm doing here is rinsing it with warm water. Um, a lot of people say that this helps get the itching out. So I rinse my aloe vera and I'm going to go ahead and cut it into little pieces. First, I get the sharp edges off and then I cut it into pieces and then I split it into two. Look how fresh and nice these look. <laughs> anyway, I'm just splitting them into two. These are very, very fresh. 
Um, I love it when my al aloe vera looks like this. Sometimes they can get kind of old, but anyway, moving on to the next process. This is my bowl of aloe vera. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to my hair section by section. What I like to do is I like to use my fingernails to poke holes into the aloe vera to make sure that um, I get the juices out really, really good so that when I do apply it to my hair, I get as much of the aloe vera onto my hair as possible. And then I take my sections of braids out, detangle it one more time, and then start to apply the aloe vera. I start from my root and work my way down to the ends of my hair and then i rub it rub it rub it anyway that's little miss nadia she's gonna be helping me wash my hair today i have been teaching nadia a lot about hair and she's learning 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 so you'll see her pop up here and there but nadia doesn't like the camera but she does like um the process of doing hair and helping mommy do her hair so you'll see her here in um, a lot more clips Anyway, this is just me applying the aloe vera to my hair. As I said, I focus a lot on my root and then I work my way down to my ends and I just make sure that the hair is completely saturated with the aloe vera and then I go ahead and comb it through. This is like a pre-poo type thing. It's a treatment slash pre-poo um, and it just, it makes my process easy and if you know anything about aloe vera, if you watch any of my aloe vera videos, you know that aloe vera has a lot of benefits. And one of the biggest benefits is that it grows the hair, it thickens the hair, and it also darkens the hair. My hair is very, very black. Um, again, it looks dirty here because there's a lot of debris, but you'll see at the end how thick and dark my hair is. And that's all thanks to the aloe vera. Um, and I use that on my daughter's hair as well. My hair used to have this brownish, not healthy look to it way before I started my natural hair journey but now my hair is super black and sometimes people ask me if I dye my hair and I don't it's all thanks to the aloe vera the aloe vera itself and the aloe vera oil which you'll see here in a minute but anyway just doing the same process poking holes into the um, aloe vera and then rubbing it onto my hair focusing more on my root and my scalp and then working my way down and then twisting it back up i am going to wash my hair in these twists because it makes the washing process easy and like i said natural hair does not like air or something because Every time I leave my hair completely open and wash it, it just makes my life so much harder because it gets tangled, it gets super curly and tangled and I don't have time for that. Anyway, this is what the hair looks like. It's all twisted up in little sections. This is how I'm gonna go ahead and wash it. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and put my shower cap on and keep it on for 30 minutes to let the aloe vera soak in really good and do its thing before I go and wash it. Um, the shower cap is on my website, nematlux.com. I'll leave the link below. But yeah, I'm just gonna wait 30 minutes and then go ahead and wash my hair. All right, family, so today I'm washing my hair in the tub, the old school way, um, because Nadia is going to be helping me as well. So I'm using a bucket and a like a scooper bowl cup type thing <laughs> and just um, leaning over the tub here and washing it. Usually I wash it in the shower, but like I said, today I have my little helper and she wants to learn the process and help mommy wash her hair as well. So that's what we're doing. As you can see there, I'm using my favorite duo, which is the Cream of Nature Shampoo and Conditioner. So I just go in with my shampoo. I apply it to my hair as many times as I need to until the water go from being super dark and dirty to super foamy and clean. <laughs> That's the process, y'all. And then after that, I use my conditioner, do the same thing, and we're done. And this is what my hair looks like. It just, my hair shrinks. I've said this over and over. I'll continue to say it, my hair shrinks. Anyway, we are using the Rev Air machine to blow dry my hair. I do use the cool setting. A lot of, a lot of you have been asking, 
um, what setting I use for the Rev Air machine. I use the cool setting. I don't use the super hot setting. And that is why I always say that I'm on a no heat journey. Because um, first of all, the Rev Air, even if you use the heat or the, the hottest setting, it doesn't heat damage your hair because it doesn't require a lot of heat to dry your hair. What it really requires is the suction of the machine. And that is how it not only dries the hair, but also leave it in like a, 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 a straighter state, if that makes sense. And the more heat you use, the straighter the hair is going to come out. If you haven't seen a more detailed um, explanation or review of this uh machine click on my previous video the video right before this one you'll see a more detailed look at the machine this machine has made my life so much easier i use it on my daughter's hair and i use it on my hair as well and it makes the drying process very fast very easy and it doesn't require a lot of heat you don't even have to use heat if you don't want to so anyway all i'm doing here is again going back to the sections that i already um had twisted up i Take them out, uh, brush it out or comb it out, and then suction it with the Rev Air machine. And I do a section by section, and that's how I'm doing the whole thing. Anyway, that's little Miss Nadia again. She's making sure I'm keeping focused and doing my hair because sometimes I can get kind of distracted if I'm watching like a series or something on YouTube as, I do, uh, as I'm doing my hair. And it makes the process longer. So she's like, Mommy, focus. Stay focused. Keep doing your hair. Anyway, this is what the hair looks like. My hair is finally out of those braids. It feels so light and airy. My hair has grown a lot, y'all. I will show you guys a little process here at the end but before we do that let's go ahead and add our aloe vera oil i do dry my hair before i add any product uh, products to it um and yes this is the second step of using the aloe vera which is in the aloe vera oil form um i just use the applicator the dropper from the applicator bottle and i pinch the oil Put it on my scalp and then I rub it in. I, I massage it in. Again, I do focus a lot on my scalp and my um, roots and then I work my way down. But um, that is the process that I use to really just grow my hair, maintain my hair and make sure that it's growing on a steady um pace i guess or growing at a steady pace my hair looks healthy as you can see it's super dark as i said and it just looks clean and healthy um yeah I, this is the best best process so i'm gonna go ahead and go into a protective style i'm gonna be wearing wigs for the next few weeks um i has i have some traveling to do i'm gonna be traveling here soon but yeah this is what the hair looks like and for those of you who haven't seen it completely stretched out this is what it looks like it is um bouncy it's beautiful it's thick and like i said it's dark and it has grown so much more from when i cut it in what month was that i forget what month it was i know a lot of you were asking when did i cut my hair i'll try to remember the month and maybe put it in the description box but it's been a few months and i'm on a six month maybe it's been four months i'm on a six month no heat challenge and i started it back then and, and i said that the last month was september and we are almost in september so yeah maybe this is the fifth month anyway this is the aloe vera oil i will leave a link down below um to where you can purchase yours if you haven't tried it i highly highly encourage you to try it now it's going to change the game for you it's going to make your hair thicker it's going to make it grow faster it's going to make it look more healthy and the smell is amazing it smells really really good and it's very very light it's not heavy and it just does what it needs to do y'all this is what my hair looks like and i'm so proud of it anyway thank you all again so 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 much for watching if you haven't grabbed you an, uh, a bottle of aloe vera oil grab it now and yeah, let me know what you want to see next. And also, please comment your favorite part of today's video. And share the video to someone who you think is going to be helpful for. Thank you for interacting with the videos. And thank you for your love and support. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.